Well, the congressional list continues to grow, as you can see here, for those looking to replace Devin Nunes in the special election. Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magsig and former congressional candidate Elizabeth Hang are both in for sure, along with Omar Navarro and Phil Arbio. Those are the only ones who officially filed to run in the special election. So things really starting to heat up here. Our panel has been waiting patiently. Let's take roll call. State delegate for the Democratic Party, executive board member of the Tulare County Democratic Central Committee and president of the Early March School Board, Abigail Solis, is with us. And new to Sunday Morning Matters panel, the Central Valley Regional Vice Chair for the California Republican Party, Corinne Rankin. Thank you both for being here. So, Corinne, you get first dibs, so this is because you're a first timer on this show. And I want to start with redistricting. We heard from Michael Evans a big statement. He says the fix was in on day one. A lawsuit is expected. Was What's the response when you hear that? Well, you know, I've been following the state commission along with the, with the doing the uh, the state redistricting. I know he's he's speaking more local of the local county Fresno. Uh, what I'd like to say is that a lot of times that people feel that way. I think I heard him himself say that uh, he believed they were within the Voter Rights Act. So, you know, there's two conflicting statements and one one part of the statement, he says that they were within uh, the Voter Rights Act and, and, and taking communities of interest in, um, under factor. And then in another statement, he says the fix was in from the beginning. So, you know, both things can't be true at the same time. Abigail, your thoughts on that? Yeah, Alexon, I think what we need to consider here is the difference between uh, violating the Voting Rights Act and really truly ensuring that we have a process that allows us to end up with lines where historically disenfranchised people can finally have a real representation. And I think those of us who have been following this process feel really frustrated because there are a certain elected officials and usually at the county level in the Central Valley that would prefer to keep the status quo than to really make significant changes that would allow for this real representation that's been missing for, for decades. Corinne, I'm kind of wondering, as vice chair of the state uh, Republican Party I, I, for the Central Valley region, I'm wondering what are you going to make of District 22? How concerned is the party that that will be more blue? Uh, we're not really too concerned. Like I said, I've been following the redistricting commission. I sort of make a habit of watching every day lately. And, uh, you know, they're really taking into consideration communities of interest. They're making a strong push to make sure they're following the Voter Rights Act. And, you know, they're having lengthy conversations about what districts, you know, should look like. Uh, they are considering the community's input. Uh, I've, I've watched them, you know, change the districts, have the community voice their opinion, and then change the districts again to match, you know, recent input. So the, the process there has been 100% transparent. Uh, one of the things that I heard this week were saying, you know, everybody's not going to be happy about every single thing. And, you know, I guess that's that's the way it is in life. And, you know, we're, we're going to have to make the best of it. Some people will like it. Mm -hmm. Some people will not like it. I think that, um, you know, overall, in, in terms of uh, the Republican Party and where we stand as Republicans, uh, we believe that uh, we can win come 2022. Well, Abigail, I want to get to you because the dominoes are really starting to fall here. Elizabeth Hang announcing this week. Uh, Devin Mathis, Andreas Borges still uh, waiting to see about those lines. Nathan Magsig is in. We're hearing uh, Dr. Joaquin Rambula is going to be set to announce. Jim Costa can move into District 22. So there's a lot of jockeying for position here. A lot of backdoor discussions, uh, closed doors discussions. Part of the Democratic and your state delegate, a Abigail, how is this shaping up to you? Yeah, you know, I think that one thing voters should understand is that Congressional District 22, as it stands today, will no longer exist after this redistricting process, right? There will be a new district that looks very different. So because of this, when you talk about candidates or the potential for CD22, you know, who will replace Devin Nunes, you know, a likely successful candidate in CD22 is not the same 
successful, you know, candidate one in, in the new Fresno Tulare district. So we finally have an opportunity to have a congressperson that actually represents the needs of the Central Valley. You know, someone who will actually meet with constituents, encourages public feedback. We saw none of that with do nothing Devin, Devin uh, Nunes. Uh, Corinne, we, we got about a minute. I'll get your response to what Abigail had to say. And now that you're hearing Elizabeth Hang, she says she has the name recognition to, to be looped in to Devin Mathis, to Nathan Magsig, uh, and obviously Andreas Borges. Your thoughts? Well, my thoughts on that are, you know, Senator Borges has been doing a fantastic job. He already represents, he's, he's going to, if, if he decides to go for the new district, you know, part of that new district is already in his current district, and he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, Supervisor. Max Sig is, you know, well known in the current uh, District 22. Uh, and Devin Mathis, you know, like we heard him say earlier, if it's competitive, he believes he can win. You know, I've, I've personally spent time with Devin Mathis and, you know, he's incredibly popular in the, the Fresno and Tulare uh, area. Abigail, I'll let you finish here. We got like 20 seconds. Do you believe Jim Costa will move districts? I believe that if the lines are drawn the right way, um, he is considering and it's possible. All right, Corinne, Abigail, thanks for waiting patiently, but hang tight. We have a lot more to come in our second panel. But